Welcome to this week's Syrup Drop. I'm Jessica Bomiro and this is my colleague Rose Bahar. Hey everyone. And we started our week at Mobile Syrup with a bit of a juicy rumor. <laughs> That's right. It seems that Amazon Prime Video might actually be coming to Canada. Well, let's give you a little bit of background here. Jeremy Clarkson, the former host of Top Gear and the current host of Amazon's reiteration, The Grand Tour, tweeted that Amazon Prime Video is going global. Well, of course, we emailed Amazon asking them if Amazon Prime Video is at long last coming to Canada. Well, they said no, but they also said that The Grand Tour will be available in Canada. That's right, and so it sort of poses the question, well, if one show is coming to Canada, I mean, isn't the platform already set up to fully come to our country? And we think that Jeremy Clarkson might have just let the cat out of the bag a little bit. I know if I was Amazon, I wouldn't want him to steal my thunder either, so I might deny it. Mm -hmm. um, and it would also be a good time for it to come to Canada because Show Me is shutting down soon and it had some licenses to uh, exclusive Amazon content that will likely soon be expiring. That's true. It also poses a bit of an interesting conversation about where Canadian content is and where the state of Canadian content producers are. Uh, John, Jean-Pierre Blais actually made some statements this week about how Rogers and Shaw just didn't try hard enough to scale Show Me to the point where it could compete with foreign competitors like Netflix. Right. And it begs the question, now that Amazon Prime Video could potentially be coming to Canada, what does that mean for the, li for the streaming services that actually still exist here, like Crave TV and Videotron's uh, Quebec-based streaming service? That's right. I mean, Jean-Pierre Blay did a little bit of naming and shaming and sort of said, I mean, we Rogers and Shaw didn't really give Show Me a chance. And I kind of agree. There was no original content. Uh, there wasn't really a, a great stab at doing something specifically Canadian. Mm -hmm. So in the future, yeah, I don't see us growing very much uh, past that. Although there is Crave TV and they are starting to do originals, so hopefully there's yeah, hopefully. something. Fingers crossed. Uh, we actually sent our very own Rose here to New York to That's the right. Qualcomm conference this week and she found out some interesting things. Absolutely, yeah. So we now know that the next high-end chipset that they're releasing is the Snapdragon 835. Why 835? We uh, are still, uh, we're very unable to, to give away all the information at this time. That'll come at the beginning of 2017. We'll hear more about the very, very mysterious Snapdragon 835, but um, including, you know, the origins of its name. Why isn't it just the 830? Why isn't it just the 825? Mm -hmm. We'll figure that out. And also, um, the only other thing that we know now is that it's a 10 nanometer chip. Mm -hmm. So basically, this is something that they've done uh, in partnership with Samsung to get to the next level of size for mobile computing chips. What's we the current standard for mobile computing chips, Rose? 14 nanometers. Okay. So they've, they've shaved it down and that means we might see bigger batteries and devices or we could see slimmer devices. Um, that we know for sure. Interesting. In terms of other specs, we'll have to wait to find okay. out. Okay. There's a theory about in computer nano chips that you were actually telling me about as we filmed our podcast this week. Do you maybe want to share that? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, it's a it's a theory that computer chips uh, will get smaller and smaller over the course of uh, you know uh, a set amount of years. So basically. Uh, technology is just evolving at such a quantifiable, quantifiably quick pace that we know that it's going to evolve smaller and smaller and smaller. Um, it'll be interesting to see when we get to that point where we just can't make the chip any smaller. Mm -hmm. But we'll have to see when we get there. For sure. And Qualcomm also revealed a long-awaited secret partner, didn't they? <laughs> Right, yeah, and that is Samsung. So Samsung is who they're producing that 10 nanometer chip with. Uh, they also revealed Qualcomm Quick Charge 4, huh. which has <laughs> speed increases of 20%. Okay. Uh, and they say you should be able to get five hours of use out of five minutes of charge, which really? is kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy. <laughs> Well, stay tuned for Rose's feature, which is actually going up this weekend on her That's experience nice. in New York this yeah. past week. But in the meantime, don't forget to uh, leave your questions in the comment section, and we will try to answer as many of them as possible. And to smash that like button. I, I, that's supposed to be my catchphrase. Smash that like, guys. I know you want to. <laughs>